I love the show. First of all, congratulations, because I, I really love the show. I love dark stories, and I think this is one of the darkest uh, TV show I ever ever seen. Uh, so how was it for you to to work in, in such a somber plot? Yeah, no, I'm, I've always been drawn to the kind of dark, dark things. <laughs> yeah, and, and I mean, yeah, this is, yeah, I mean, it's truly just a thing you just can't even imagine. I speak, especially now I've become a dad. It's taken a whole new kind of, uh, it's a whole new different level of, of, of dark. And it's, um, yeah, it's, 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 it's such a fun, interesting, it's a very unique show, kind of having everything happen in, in this kind of one location. Um, it's, yeah, and not really knowing exactly kind of where this is going and treading that line between being supernatural and completely rational is, um, yeah, it's really interesting and I've, I've, I've loved kind of seeing where it's kind of going. It's been great. One of the things that I like more of the show is, is that there's no like a bad character or a good character. There's not like a villain. All the characters have done very bad things uh, through the, the story. Uh, and at the same time, you, you can see that they try their best. So how was for you to build Julian uh, really between these, these two sides, the, the darkness and, and the light? Yeah, no, I think that's it's something is it's really interesting, not really knowing who your allegiance is with, who you trust, kind of because everyone kind of both kind of sits in the very two different kind of sides of that. And, it's, and it makes you kind of a lot more kind of uh, disorientated you don't know really what's going and what's going on and I think that's the same for us when we're making it we don't really know kind of what's around the corner even kind of mid-season everything's kind of shrouded in, in this kind of secrecy so we're kind of discovering it with the characters and it's it's yeah no it's it's, it's very intriguing and it's and I think this season as well we see very kind of different sides of the characters now that kind of Julian is sober um, it kind of brings in a lot more kind of things um, to his side of the character that we haven't seen. So it's, yes, yeah, it's, it's really interesting. For you, it was a big change to be part of Servan. You, you come from, from one of the greatest or most famous child stories of all times, uh, like Harry Potter. And then suddenly we see you uh, playing this character that it's living on the edge and, and, and dealing with a lot of addictions and, and it's very dark. Uh, were you pursuing this? this uh, change uh, when you accept to be part of, of Servant? Um, yeah, I don't think you ever really kind of consciously decide kind of what, what really you want to do. I mean, as I say before, I've, I've always been very drawn to this genre of, um, of story. And um, yeah, I think it's, it's been very refreshing playing someone who can, can say the F words quite freely. It's something we didn't really get to do much of uh, in, in, in Potter so it's yeah I mean it's always fun kind of as I get older I'm playing more kind of adult roles and it's yeah it's it's a, it's a nice it's a nice change but um, yeah it, it's, it's it's just it's, it's so different in, in so many ways it's hard to to really compare them but it's yeah I'm really enjoying it it's been great before I leave, I have to tell you, because if not, everybody will kill me. But I have to tell you that when people find out I was going to talk to you, uh, everybody told me, tell him that we love him and <laughs> we want him to, to come to, to Argentina. <laughs> I'm coming. I'd love, I'd love to, to go to Argentina. Yeah, it sounds good.